Hi everyone, it's Maribet here, and I'm here with Finn, my Levi by Bonnie Brown. This is my third attempt to make this video, and will be my last attempt. Every time I start halfway through, I get a phone call. I don't get a phone call all day, and I get two every time I restart the video. So, as I said, but you guys didn't know, because I'm saying it again, the reason I have Finn today, this is for our last video for the year. Today is January 31st, and it's Christmas, I mean, I'm sorry, New Year's Eve. And I have my little Finn here, like I said, my Levi by Bonnie Brown. And the reason I have him is because he is my first actual reborn that I received this year in May for Mother's Day. And he's the one that kicked everything off. I have been in the community for over two years watching everyone's babies and in Instagram looking at all the pictures. And I love and enjoyed everyone's babies. And thanks to all of you, I decided to acquire or get into Reborns. Um, I started in... Like, in 2018, the beginning of the year, I purchased several kits by Bountiful Baby. And I wanted to paint because I honestly didn't feel I could afford a Reborn. Um, he's not a high-end Reborn, but he is very precious to me. And I did not paint my kits because I felt I couldn't. Because I didn't have a Reborn. I mean, as much as I watched all your videos and I would re-watch them and pause and look at all the details in your babies. And look at the pictures. I still felt that I needed to see an actual Reborn in person. So that I can see all the colors and dissect every color that was in it in order for me... To paint, and by dissect, I mean I can actually, I have a little bit of an art background. So I can see all the layers just looking at his skin. I can actually tell how many colors, what colors are on him. But I felt that I, like I said, I felt I could not paint my kids until I either saw or went to a, one of the, oh, let's see, the doll shows. To see it in person or if I ever acquired one. And my husband blessed me with little Finn here. And he got me started. So once I got Finn, after I was enjoying him and changing his clothes. You know when you get a reborn for the first time, you change him like three times a day. And every day. He actually, for the first few weeks, I slept with him. <laughs> I couldn't put him down. And then I picked one of my kits. I actually took them apart. All of them took all of them apart. And I chose one to start with. And my first one was Mia. Mia is Marie's Reborn Marissa Asleep by Bonneville Baby. And she was my first kit I reborn. After her, I reborn Taylor. By Bountiful Baby. He is a preemie. And Taylor is no longer with me. He was the giveaway baby. And he is with his new mommy. Who loves him. Then I painted my third reborn. Who is Kyle. And he is a real born Joseph asleep newborn. Then the last baby. The fourth baby I painted this year. Was Jenny. Real born Jenny awake. And she is the one that I call Isaiah when she's a boy, or he's a boy. And when I change him to a girl, if I change the clothes to a girl, I call him Asia. Right now, he's Isaiah. So, um, that's why little Finn is here, and I'm going to change his outfit today. But before I change his outfit, I want to do a shout-out to Deidre's Hobby and Lupus Life. I am um, 
I really recommend that you guys go and visit her channel. She is, like I said before, a lovely lady. And my last video was the um, giveaway that I won from her channel. And if you guys go visit her and subscribe to her, she is actually doing a new giveaway. I believe tomorrow, January 1st. And we'll be doing monthly giveaways. She is also giving away a 100 pound gift card when she reaches 1500 subscribers. And she will be giving away a custom reborn of your choice when she reaches 2000 subscribers. So I just wanted to let you all know to stop by and you never know, it could be you could be the winner of any of the gifts or the giveaways. So please stop by and just say hi and subscribe if you like her. She is very, very sweet and has beautiful babies. Um, so I just wanted to do a shout out and let you guys know the giveaways that are going on. In case you guys wanted to enter. And now back to little Finn. I got this for Christmas, my Santa, because nobody in here ever puts the name in my house we just put Santa's gifts so no one knows who the gifts are coming from except Santa so this is one of the gifts Santa brought me it is a Wonder Nation sleeper newborn and it's white with navy blue stripes on the bottom like towards it looks like pants but they're not pants it's actually just a either a play suit or a sleeper with an elephant, a striped elephant on the chest with the little ears. It has navy blue and white thicker stripes than the elephant is. And the elephant is blowing yellow stars out of his trunk in its long sleeve. And I just want to put him in something comfortable. So this is it. And I brought a diaper. I'm not sure if he needs a diaper change or not. But, yeah, this is why I brought little Kyle. Addison was another present that my husband brought, bought me after. And her, she's rooted, and that's, I'm going to use her as a guide to start rooting. Addison is my Ramsey by Cassie Grace. She's my beautiful little girl. So, yeah, it. They're both contributing. Kyle contributed and as far as I starting to paint and Addison's gonna guide me to rooting. So they both did. They're both and I love them both. I actually love all the reborns. The ones I created and the ones that my husband got me. Which I am very grateful for that he supports my hobby. He won't, he does not, he's not into reborns. Like I, it's hard for me to even get him to hold him for a second just so I can do something. Like if I'm, if I have him, like I'll be cuddling with him or any of them and I have to grab something and I'll just tell him, just grab him for a second. He's like, no, 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 no. He just, he thinks it just feels awkward. He likes the art. He loves the art. Like, I'll show the videos and show him your babies. And tell him, look how realistic this baby is. And he's like, wow. But as far as him handling them, no. He will not. He's like, no, it's too uh, much for me. Too creepy for me. He looks too real. <laughs> but I respect it. I respect that, just like he respects my hobby. Yeah, ma. So, um, I'm sorry that was my daughter that just walked in for a second. But she noticed I was doing the video, so she walked out. I want to wish all of you a wonderful, prosperous, and healthy new year. I want to say it now so I don't forget it later on. It's been wonderful being in this community. 
and I love all each and every one of your you and your babies and I thank all of you for guiding me through this hobby because if it wasn't for you all I wouldn't have gotten into the hobby and or gotten the um, not the how would I say it be brave enough to start reborn if you yeah, need a new nappy you need a new nappy buddy everyone this is not a real baby this is adult it has a cloth body and no private parts I'm just saying it so that I don't get flagged yeah thanks to all of you I I got the courage to start reborning and like I just got Lulu and I kept telling everybody that she's coming, but I was terrified of reborning her. And many of you said you got this in your mess in your your comments to me. You guys are like, you got this, you can do it. And you guys, that means so much to me. You have no idea. I'm Thanks to you all, I feel like I can, like I really can, and maybe I do got this, and I will probably reborn him. I might practice rooting on a different kit before I try her, because I have not, like I've painted in the past, but I have not rooted any, any dolls. Like I said, all the support that I've received from you guys is it's wonderful you guys have no idea how much it means to me and I love all my subscribers and all my viewers and I thank you all for being there for me and for the community welcoming me it's just it's been an amazing year it's a lot of negative things that have gone on but as far as the hobby it's just been a blessing. I can, I just pick a baby, a baby up when I'm not feeling well, and things just seem to get better the minute I hold them. And watching your videos and feeling like I'm not alone, and seeing that I have other people that have the same interest that I do, and or feelings that I do. Um, it's it helps because like I said I don't feel alone I don't feel like oh I'm weird there are other people that love the same things that I do and it's okay it's okay to be different so thank you everyone for like I said taking me into the community and welcoming me to Mexico and just being so supportive, all of you. Oh, the ears, sweetie. Oh, and the ear says little peanut. I didn't even know that. Sorry. <laughs> so like I was saying, thank you, everyone. I love you all. And I wish you all the very best this new year can bring. And I hope all your dreams and wishes come true. And here's a little fan. There he is. Say hi, aunties, uncles, nanas, and papas. Happy New Year's. I wish you all the best. Here, let me show you a little flap on the ear that I missed earlier. Here it goes. It says little peanut. And here's Kyle. I'm sorry. Not Kyle. I keep calling them by different names. Every time I do a video and I rewatch it, I realize that I call the baby by the opposite name. That happens with my real kids, too. So, here he is with his little cross, little feetsies curled up. And here's the back. There you go. There he is. The neck seems to be a little big. But that's okay. Because he's He's to my precious boy. Yes, he is. So he 
here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Our last video of the year. I'm just going to play this little Patsy clip. And like I said, I wish you all a happy, prosperous, blessed, and healthy new year. And I hope all your wishes and dreams come true. And can't wait to see you all in the next year. And continue watching you all. Here you go, everybody. So, like I said, thank you all for being there for me. For all the support and guidance. And I'll see you next year. Thank you, everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.